guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be answering a few questions about renting DVC points. So I've done a couple videos about this in the past and I will link those below, but these are kind of a mix of questions that I either got in the comments of those videos or just questions that have been asked to me directly from friends and family. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I know when I first discovered renting DVC points, I had a million questions and I didn't know who to ask. I knew there were the um, FAQ tabs on these different websites and I know there were different blogs and things like that, but it's one thing to read the answers to your questions and it's another thing to actually hear another human being <laughs> answer your questions. So it just would have given me some peace of mind if there was a video out there like this because I had never done it before and so I was pretty hesitant to book a Disney vacation not through Disney because <laughs> I'd never done it before and it was just all so new and I just wanted to make sure that this was a real thing <laughs> and that I was gonna in fact show up to my resort and my reservation would be there so I had all these questions so anyway I hope this is helpful I hope this helps bring you some peace of mind so let's go ahead and jump into the first question Okay, so the first question is, can you rent DVC points if you aren't a DVC member? Um, I'm looking down at my notes, by the way, but <laughs> um, yes, the answer to that is yes, you can rent DVC points. It is open to anybody. You do not have to be a member to rent someone else's points. Okay, the next question is, can you still take advantage of the on-site perks when staying in a villa, even though you aren't the owner? So this was actually a question that I got a couple of times and yes, so the answer to that is yes, you can take advantage of all of the amenities of that resort. So just because you're not the owner, um, you have purchased your, your points from the DVC owner and you have earned your stay at that resort because you paid for it. So along with that comes all of the same perks and amenities, um, the 60 day fast pass booking window, the extra magic hours, um, access to Magical Express and the dining plan. So all of those things are included with your purchase and you are totally fine to take advantage of those um, even though you didn't book directly through Disney. So you have, you've paid for your points, you've paid for your stay, so all of that is included with what you have purchased. Okay, so the next question is, can I cancel or make adjustments to my reservation if I want to upgrade my view or change resorts? And the answer to that is no. Since you have purchased a specific amount of points for a specific view at a specific resort um, from a specific owner, it's not transferable. So for instance, um, if you wanted to add on a few nights um, you could put in a second request for that. So it would be an entirely separate reservation, but if you changed your mind and you wanted to add on a couple more nights, you could do that, but you couldn't subtract nights from your stay. So there's just too many complexities of the points. Um, the owner could have banked or borrowed their points, so there's really no way to go back and make adjustments or cancel. Okay, the next question is, can I book the dining plan when renting DVC points? And the answer to that is yes. So the only catch to that is, is that the owner that you are renting your points from has to book the dining plan for you. So the thing with member services is only owners are allowed to make adjustments to reservations. So kind of tagging off my previous question, um, you would not be able to call member services. Um, they wouldn't be able to make any kind of adjustments or um, anything like that to your reservation. The owner itself would have to call and do that for you. So this was another one that I was kind of uh, about. I was like, oh gosh, I don't know how I feel about this, but in order for the owner to book the dining plan for you, you would need to provide your payment information. So this is one where I was like, uh, I am not comfortable with that at all, giving a complete stranger my credit card information. So another way that you can do it if you are not comfortable with that is to purchase a Disney gift card in the exact amount of your dining plan. And then you would provide that gift card um, number and information to the owner to book it for you. So I know for a lot of people, 
having that second option of being able to pay with a gift card brings a little peace of mind rather than just sending off your credit card information to somebody. But either way, I've never heard of any crazy things happening with that. Um, so either way, I'm sure it would be fine, but I feel like the gift card give option gives a little more security than just passing on your credit card info. So there's a couple different ways to go about it, but long story short, you can add the dining plan, but the owner would have to book it for you. Okay, the next question is, can I take the Magical Express to the resort I'm renting points at? And the answer to that is yes. So I do know when booking through David's DVC rental, a link is actually emailed to you when you book your reservation and you would go to that link and enter in all of your flight info um, and you would need to do that 30 days out from your arrival day and the owner would have to go in and add the Magical Express for you. And then if for some reason your flight info changed, you could go in and actually make adjustments on your own. So that's kind of the one exception to making adjustments to things. You would have access to make any kind of adjustments to the Magical Express. Um, pretty much nothing else <laughs> but just the Magical Express you could make adjustments on. Okay, the next question is, because I'm staying in a DVC villa, do I get access to the DVC lounges? And the answer to that is no, unfortunately you don't. So say you go to the Top of the World Lounge, they are actually gonna check to see if you are a DVC owner. So just because you're staying at Bay Lake Tower um, or any of the other villa resorts, you would not get access to those lounges. Those are exclusively for the owners. Okay, and the last question I have here is, will my reservation be in my name even though I'm not the original owner of the points? And yes, the reservation will be completely in your name. You won't have to worry about going through someone else when you get to your resort to check in. When you book your reservation, you are actually emailed a confirmation number and you can input that confirmation number into your My Disney my Disney Experience account. And it'll show up as if you had booked directly through Disney. Um, it, won't, it won't show the owner's name or anything like that on your My Disney Experience account. So you'll have an actual confirmation number. So if for any reason there are any mix-ups, you have a physical confirmation number. Um, so there aren't any issues with it. Okay, so that is it for the questions I have today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. Um, I wish there had been a video like this when I had discovered renting points. It just would have brought so much peace of mind to me knowing that someone else has done this and gone through this and, and just hearing another human being <laughs> um, give kind of the answers to all the questions that I had. So again, let me know in the comments below if you can think of anything else. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, get involved here. I love talking with you guys and answering questions um, and just reading through your comments. So anyway, that's it for today. So we'll see you next time. Bye.